let's start with two simple questions. First, how much time are you spending on social media apps per day or per week? And the second question is, are you satisfied with all of the outcomes that you are getting from these apps? Uh, because if not, perhaps this is a great time to actually rethink how you interact with all of these sources of information on the web. And perhaps instead of mindlessly scrolling for three hours per day, you can choose a structured learning path that is going to allow you to reach your academic and professional and health goals, relationship goals much faster so that you become a much happier and more knowledgeable human. But how do we even get started? So the first thing, if you really want to make this commitment to become a learner and to master some skills instead of just scrolling through social media, is to uh, just either remove some of these apps from your phone or you can block them uh, for a specific time period using an app like Freedom. I'm using this app for on both of my uh, devices here. So only at a specific time, I can go and check, uh, for example, some of these social media apps, uh, which I rarely do actually, because I don't really find them uh, so valuable. So uh, think about ways in which you can free yourself from uh, this constant distraction and all of these notifications that are coming your way. You can just turn them off and Instead, uh, you can just take a, a piece of paper and uh, your pen and just really sit down without any uh, digital distraction and think about uh, some of the learning goals and just life goals that you want to achieve. Uh, for example, since we are talking uh, mostly on this channel about digital marketing and content creation, how about uh, just deciding to become a great content creator uh, or uh, become an expert uh, in the area of Google Ads or Meta Ads, uh, building websites, making money online, uh, using AI to your advantage, uh, building swarms of AI agents or whatever. Uh, but you can explore other topics as well, like longevity, health, relationships, uh, travel, art, um, literature, all of the good stuff. Uh, so then instead of mm, just having these small bites uh, of information on your phone that the algorithm chooses for you, uh, you actually ha make a conscious choice that right now you are going to be um, learning the stuff that actually interests you. So this all comes down to the architecture of choice. Uh, if mm, you just rely on social media apps to give you all of the information that you need, uh, you will uh, just realize that uh, the amount of information is very um, random, you know, and it's so scattered. It's not focused at all. So then it's difficult to actually learn any skill, uh, even if you from time to time search for a particular uh, topic like uh, Google Ads or digital marketing. Uh, on these apps, you will just get some very small surface level tips. Uh, so how do we uh, go deeper? How do we actually um, start uh, developing a structured learning path to achieve our goals? Uh, so first of all, uh, just uh, write it down what you want to learn. Then you can uh, use many different options that are available uh, online. Uh, for example, on Kindle, mm, you can create lists of books uh, about a particular topic that you want to read. So then you gather like five books and you stack them and then you just read them and you will know about um, a specific topic more than most uh, people. Uh, you know, like uh, you will become an expert, uh, basically, because uh, right now everything is so random that even if you just read like three to five books about a specific topic, you basically are considered an expert. Another great uh, way which actually utilizes uh, social media is to uh, create a specific um, playlist on YouTube about a uh, particular topic. So this is already way better than just relying on uh, topics that you are 
seeing on your feed. For example, you might want to learn about um, how to gener generate leads with meta ads or how to create engaging social media videos. So then you just create a playlist of like 50 of these uh, videos uh, and you just go through them one by one while uh, noting down some of the stuff that you have learned in your notebook. So then you can take action on the stuff uh, that you have learned. Another great thing is, for example, using Feedly, where you can create uh, feeds of articles from various websites about specific topics. For example, if you are interested in digital marketing, uh, you can uh, create a list of like 30 best websites about digital marketing from around the web. And all of these uh, articles will appear in your feed. So then you can just interact with them uh, and uh, learn about a specific topic and become like really knowledgeable and updated about it. Um, instead of just, you know, scrolling and hoping that you uh, are going to get some um, valuable uh, information. Uh, another uh, fantastic way that I have just recently um, developed, maybe, is uh, listening to podcasts about a specific topic. So, for example, I'm using uh, a very simple app uh, for podcasts. It's called Podbean, but it has thousands of podcasts and it also acts as a search engine. So, for example, if I want to learn about ways to improve my longevity, I just type uh, longevity in uh, the, mm, the, the search box and I get all of the latest podcasts about that particular topic uh, in my feed, you know, and then I can, again, just create a, a really cool um, playlist uh, out of uh, these podcasts uh, that are uh, including experts uh, and you can increase the playback speed. I'm actually, if I'm like really focused, I can uh, listen to podcasts at 2.5 times uh, the speed. Uh, so then you can absorb, if you're an auditory learner, you can absorb all of this information extremely rapidly. And just in one uh, evening, uh, you can learn loads and loads of stuff about a particular uh, topic. This is extremely helpful. For example, if you are trying to develop an online business and you know that Okay, in the next couple of days, I want to create a series of Google ads uh, to uh, boost my business and increase my profits. Uh, so then instead of just going randomly on social media and just watching something here, something there, you can create a playlist of like uh, 20 YouTube videos about that particular topic. Uh, you can uh, then go to this Podbean or any other podcast app that you are using and again, create a a list of all of these uh, latest podcasts uh, that are just, um, you can see dates uh, in them. Uh, so you will get only the most recent and most valuable information uh, about uh, that particular uh, topic. Okay, so these are just some of the ways that I have recently used uh, to Mm, boost my knowledge and increase my skills. I've been also listening to a lot of uh, audiobooks uh, during walks, during exercise, in the evening. Uh, I'm uh, now interested in developing better communication skills, uh, learning about uh, uh, Google Ads because I'm going to be creating a, a Google Ads course and um, I'm running Google Ads in my business, you know, so why not uh, make it more profitable? So these are like the possibilities are infinite. And then within a year, you can learn so many new skills, become so much more knowledgeable um, in a kind of mindful way, instead of just uh, constantly scrolling through your phone and wasting your time. Um, so that's like my tip for you here. I hope that uh, you have uh, like enjoyed it. I really <laughs> urge you to just think about it uh, and stop wasting your life potentially, stop making uh, money for all of these social media companies and just take matters in your own hand and start learning something new today. Good luck.